Hey YouTube, welcome back to Sound Designs where I'm building a six car garage. Today the stills have arrived and in this video we'll be talking about how we put the structural stills in, making it all nice, safe and secure, ready for the main build. Stay tuned. Right, so welcome back. So we've got three of the stills. We've got a total of five stills ready today. So that's three of them. Um, and these ones are going to be on the front face of the garage. So garage is about to unload them. And then we'll show you how you put them on. And obviously how they work. And making sure they fit nice and snug and secure. Proper and level. Ready for a decent build. So as you can see with these stills, you've not only got the high beam, plate welded at the bottom, it goes all the way along. So what happens is the block work sits on the front base and also sits on top of the I-beam. That's how it's designed. So you get the structural strength, but also you get the continuity of making sure that the garage looks seamless. And you won't even see the steel or the plate. So that's the reason that we use those type of steels. Uh, we've got two more to arrive for the centre beams. The other important thing to remember is you don't put the steel straight onto block work. These things here are called pad stones and they're a high compression reinforced concrete block. So when the steel sits on that and the weight of the block work sits on that, that makes sure that it can secure the load and make sure you don't get any breaking or cracking. So when you do your steel work, make sure you've got pad stones. We've got pad stones there, over there. We've also got pad stones on the front. So that's where the basic group still is going to sit on. Uh, we're going to load up the front one in a minute. Right, so that's one down and another four to go. So we'll stick that on time lapse and you can enjoy the, the quick view of that. So, there we go. That's the steel gone on, nice and safely. That's one steel, that's the outer bay. We've got one here, which is the central bay. Scaffolding, uh, and they're just going to give that a quick paint um, with some specialist paint that's anti corrosion. You need that, otherwise, you know, still obviously rusts, and uh, it's just about making it a bit more longer life, uh, making the job a lot neater and tidier. So, make sure you do that as well if your stills aren't pre painted from the supplier. So, we've got the other stills to come up here, uh, they're on their way, uh, and you'll see that in the next section. So there you go, still's all painted, red ox primer. And then what the guys are doing now, they're laying the blocks on the steel plate. So you've got the front facing block there, you've got your inner skin right there. So insulated as normal, all the way. So you won't know you've got the steel's there, that will all be covered, that will all be hidden. And that's how we put steel's in. Going there. So 
fingers crossed. Safe, sound. Still there, you can see how big that is. Somewhat over engineered for what we need, but that's what they expect, that's what we fitted. And you've got plenty of space on the pad stones either side. That's another good bit of work there. So, we've got one more to load up, and that's all of the steel work's done. There you have it guys, that's five big pieces of steel gone in, nice and secure, done safely, done properly, done to spec, done to standard. So another great piece of work. So join us next time, they're going to finish off the block work and we'll talk about how we get the roof done. See you next time.